Do you know that every 10 seconds, someone dies from complications related to diabetes? Uncontrolled diabetes can lead to devastating health consequences like heart diseases, nerve damage, and even blindness. But what if there was a natural solution that could help you manage your blood sugar levels effectively? Well, today, we are diving into the science behind berberine, a powerful natural supplement that is showing incredible promise in the fight against type 2 diabetes. Managing diabetes effectively requires a multifaceted approach, including diet, exercise, and medications. But what if you could harness the power of nature to help you uh, keep your blood sugar in check? Meet berberine, a natural compound with centuries of use, even in traditional medicine, now backed by modern science for its ability to regulate blood sugar. In this video, we are going to talk about four things. The first one is what berberine is. What is berberine at all? You probably haven't heard about it. And then secondly, we will talk about the sources of berberine, where you can find berberine. And then from there, uh, we are going to talk about recommended doses uh, for blood sugar control. And then after that, we are going to hit on complementary foods for blood sugar. Foods that should be eaten along with a berberine to obtain or to achieve the optimum or best blood sugar control. We'll be talking about the potential side effects and how to mitigate these side effects. And then lastly, we will do why berberine is a promising natural supplement for diabetes management. So what is berberine and how does it even work? All right, so berberine is a bioactive compound found in several plants. It has been used in centuries for traditional Chinese medicine and also in Ayurvedic medicine to treat various ailments including infections and digestive issues. However, recent studies have uncovered its potent ability to actually help in blood sugar control, which is huge. So for those of us who are looking for something natural for blood sugar control, this is potentially uh, your way out. So how does berberine work? One of the key mechanisms is its activation of an enzyme called AMP activated protein kinase, AMPK for short. This enzyme plays a crucial role in regulating metabolism and energy balance. When activated, AMPK increases insulin sensitivity. So that's the key, insulin sensitivity. Those of you who know a little bit about diabetes, insulin sensitivity is, uh, is huge. If we talk about insulin sensitivity, a lot of the drugs we take for diabetes have been formulated around this uh, uh, mode of action. It encourages glucose uptake by cells and reduces glucose production in the liver. So basically all of the ways, or I should say most of the ways that diabetic medications are formulated, essentially berberine helps your body use glucose more effectively and prevents it from uh, building up in the bloodstream. Moreover, berberine has been shown to slow down carbohydrate breakdown in the gut. That's another huge thing that uh, we, if we talk about some of the older diabetic medication, I don't want to bore you with those names, but if you, if you know some of the drugs that we use to treat diabetes, in fact, some of them are still around, uh, the way they work is to prevent glucose absorption. So in this instance here, berberine has been shown to slow down carbohydrate breakdown in the gut. So if you don't break down carbohydrate, then potentially you're not going to absorb more sugars. So and by doing that, it reduce the speed at which glucose enters the bloodstream after eating. This dual action uh, makes it excellent tool for controlling blood sugar levels. Naturally, that's the key. All these things have been achieved by medications, but we are seeing a natural compound uh, going in such a way uh, to do this. Where can we find berberine? So finding natural sources of berberine in your diet isn't something that I would uh, uh, encourage or anybody would encourage because it's not as straightforward as adding more fruits or vegetables or even 
any sort of thing to your plate. As berberine is primarily derived from specific plants. So the first plant that we know has berberine is golden seal root. And then from that, there's another one called barberry. Uh, and then the, the next one is Oregon grape root, as well as traditional gold trip, and one also called Amur cork tree. But they have been formulated into these uh, capsules, tablets, and powders that you can take. And we're going to be talking more about how to take them and, and the rest. So now let's go to our next uh, thing that we said we're going to talk about. That is the recommended doses for effective blood sugar control. So like any other supplement or any other medicine, when it comes to taking berberine, dosing is key to its effectiveness. You know, the standard dosage uh, recommended for managing blood sugar levels is 500 milligrams taken two to three times a day. And then also uh, you can basically uh, uh, talk about the total daily dose being 1,000 to 1,500 milligrams per day. Now, it is best to take berberine with meals. We will talk about that later also uh, to optimize its blood sugar uh, lowering effect and also to minimize potential uh, gastrointestinal or GI side effects. Some people start with lower doses such as like 300 milligrams, taking two to three times daily to allow you know their body to adjust and then gradually increase uh, the dosage. Again, if you are already diabetic and you're taking metformin, you would understand that this is kind of like metformin. Uh, when we start, you start low and then uh, obviously not just metformin, but for mo most medications and you go up as your body adapts to its use. But before I even uh, end over there, I'm not encouraging you to take anything unless you speak to your doctor. So uh, much as we know this is going to work for diabetes, it is important that you talk to your doctor first if you have to uh, take berberine because like any supplement, they come with side effects and also potential drug uh, interactions, which we are going to get to. But what are some of the complementary foods? And I'm not going to spend too much time here. You cannot just take berberine and hope that your diabetes is uh, gone or you don't get diabetes just because you are taking uh, berberine. You got to have complementary foods or foods that have also been uh, proved to help manage blood sugar levels. So if you are really serious about doing natural way or natural blood sugar control, maybe you have a family history and you want to be ahead of the game, you don't want to get diabetes and you're trying to supplement on these things, you still have to do the right diet. And that is where the complementary foods come in. So taking berberine alone without exercise, taking berberine alone without eating right, Without these complementary foods may not achieve the best results for you. So berberine works best when combined with a balanced diet that supports blood sugar control. And if you are a regular on this channel, you know we talk about leafy greens and examples of which are spinach and kale, but a bunch more. And they are low in carbs and high in fiber. And these help uh, maintain stable blood sugar levels. The other food or complementary food that you would eat if you want to take on uh, you know, berberine is whole grains, you know, talking about quinoa, brown rice, and a few others that you have heard us talk about. They provide slow-releasing carbohydrates, preventing blood sugar spikes. Now, the other one is nuts and seeds, including uh, examples being almonds, flax seeds, uh, and whatever nuts that you also want to uh, include. They also are rich in healthy fats and fibers, and obviously, they slow down glucose absorption and ensure that your berberine works the best. And then, and then the other one is uh, f berries. You know, we're talking about blueberries, strawberries, as well as uh, uh, other things that you can include. You know, we have the are packed with antioxidants and fiber, which also help manage blood sugar levels. And then from there, you could also include fatty fish. We're talking about salmon, mackerel, and the rest. They are also high in omega-3 fatty acids, and they improve insulin sensitivity. Legumes. Legumes also includes, uh, you know, lentils, chickpeas, and the rest. And they provide, again, fiber, as well as protein, which stabilize blood sugar levels for you. Incorporating these foods into your daily meals alongside your berberine can enhance your blood sugar uh, control naturally. So it's not just one, one way, but your diet plus that supplement doing the job of uh, protecting you against high blood sugar levels. 
Now, let's go to the fifth point that I say we're going to talk about, which is the side effects. I'm pretty sure you may be asking yourself, don't they have side effects? Yes, they have side effects. We're going to talk about those side effects and then also how to potentially reduce the side effects. Like any supplement, berberine may cause some side effects in individuals, especially at a higher doses. Once you reach the doses of 1500 milligrams or even 2000 milligrams, which it's possible if you took 500 milligrams four times a day, which some people would eventually need to control their sugars, you're definitely going to have side effects because, again, because of the high dose and the fact that it is obviously something foreign to your body, you're going to have some side effects. And the most common side effects that we can tell, tell you about is the gastrointestinal uh, uh, discomfort, you know, the GI side effects, which includes, you know, cramping and uh, stomach upset and uh, diarrhea even, uh, some of the things that you can see with berberine. Now, the other thing is if you're on any medications, berberine can uh, cause drug interactions. Berberine can interact with certain medications such as antibiotics, as well as even blood thinners, which is very important here. Now, for blood thinners, if you are on a blood thinner, you know, much like any other medication, but especially if you're on a blood thinner, before you take anything, whether it's an herbal, a supplement, a vitamin, you definitely need to let your doctor know. Now, to minimize the side effects, uh, you can start with lower dose of berberine and gradually increase it. You know, I think I alluded to that. You know, so you start with a dose of like 300 milligrams, two to three times a day, and then increase it to the 500 milligrams, two to three times a day, which is a standard dose. And that will help uh, reduce the stomach discomfort if you have that side effect with berberine. And as you take it over time, it, your body adapts or adjusts to it. And if side effects persist, it may be actually worth discussing with your doctor uh, for alternative dosages and potentially even not do it at all if it is too much to handle. With its ability, with its ability to lower blood sugar levels, improve insulin sensitivity, and even reduce cholesterol. We didn't touch on that, but it, it also has that property. Berberine is a powerful natural uh, ally in the fight against type 2 diabetes. In fact, it's multiple mechanisms of action combined with a, a healthy diet and a lifestyle can help you regain control over your blood sugar levels naturally. Remember, managing diabetes is a lifelong journey that requires comprehensive approach. A berberine, along with a balanced diet, some of which we alluded to in this video earlier, along also with regular exercise, along with medical supervision, you can do it alone. You got to involve your healthcare providers. And along with all the other good things, can be an effective you know, part of your diabetes management plan. You cannot just take berberine alone. It's got to be a comprehensive approach with diet, exercise, in fact, weight loss or weight management if you have to lose some weight and do all the other things we've talked about to make sure that you are on point as far as diabetes or blood sugar control is concerned. Now, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more tips on managing diabetes and other health conditions naturally. Have you tried berberine though? If you are watching and you've tried berberine, I want you to share your experience in the comments below. Hit the subscribe, hit notification, and let's roll together. We have a lot of other videos that we want you to check out. And one of these is going to be shown either to the left or to the right.